Today's we're looking at Trail Wildlife Outdoor Camera. It's 4K resolution on video, night vision, and 40 megapixel image. It's got multiple image taking capability. It boasts 0.1 second trigger time. It's got 120 wide angle lens and a two inch LCD screen. The camera is pretty good for capturing time lapses in nature. You can have this on standby for six months or have it on motion settings for wildlife tracking. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, so this is a TC24 digital trail camera, six months standby time, IP66, so it's waterproof and snowproof. It's got an enclosure. Let's get into the unboxing here. We're gonna test this. It's got a 0.1 second trigger speed, which means any little critter or any animal that's gonna pass by, it's gonna capture it momentarily. All right, so we have reviewed these cameras before, but again, end of 2023 2024 cameras are usually better in terms of the SEMA sensor and the trigger time first we get the camera with the enclosure you get your USB-C charging cable and you get your mounting belt the mounting belt is important because it goes over trees poles pretty much anything in rough terrain that doesn't necessarily have a mounting structure to it so you can just tie it around and it's really wet inside let's go take out the camera and the first thing you're gonna notice that it's camouflaged you can get these in different colors as well but i do like this one less because it's got a nice mix of the wilderness kind of a green military green and it's got a little bit of bark tree bark with the browns now notice here how big this motion sensor is and the camera is actually very very light it does have night vision as well the assembly is super tight with these two so let's open it up and see what's inside and when you open this camera you're going to notice this little pull tab you pull the rest of this down pull and that's going to reveal the compartment now this camera is powered by eight double a 1.5 volt batteries they did provide you with the mounting hardware that allows you to rotate the camera if you mount it on this or you can use this belt strap to go through here and then attach it to a pole which is the option that we're going to do instead of using that and lastly you have our usb-c cable which you can connect to a power bank now i would suggest get a solar power panel for the outdoor and then plug in the camera into that that's going to guarantee you pretty much constant constant recording over a span of months or even years if you'd like if that's your thing all right so first you want to install your batteries this is the amazon basics which are the batteries for use so you do put in eight of them now the reason you put in a lot is because this will give you about six months standby time so if any animal chooses to pass only then will the camera turn on and start making videos or taking pictures there is another option that you can attach there is an ac adapter that is right here in the corner right here under this tag and then there's a rubber even though that'll provide you with the dc six volt input this is a universal so you can connect the ac into your solar charger for example or a plug somewhere and it's going to give you continuous power without the need of the batteries battery is always nice because it's a backup so if there was a power surge or something the camera would continue recording now let's go and put in our card now there is no memory card included this is just an adapter we have a 32 gigabyte card in there so let's go plug this in it's at the very bottom right here it's going to ask you probably to format it so make sure you don't put any camera card that you have stuff on now there are three levers here so one's off test and on we're going to go switch it to on now if you want to get this going without the batteries you can also connect the provided usb-c type c cord right in the bottom and connect the other end to the power bank this will also basically enable the camera as well so let's go and navigate these so you can see that it's very easy to navigate we're going to set our time Format memory, okay. Oh, there it is, it's done. Now, if I take it away, you can see right away in real time. Um, so what's it doing? It's adjusting to the light. Now, mind you, if it's using infrared, it is gonna eat up a lot more battery. So this is right now set on pictures. So it's saying it could take 11,500 pictures. Let's go to photo pixels. So we can change the resolution to higher. So let's do 40 or we can go all the way down to five and if we go five that's going to give us 24,809 pictures but like i said we want to definitely go and set this to the highest 40 mix pixels and that's going to give us 10,700 let's go again back to our mode and then we can set photo video or photo and video which is what i prefer it's going to start recording and it's going to take a picture at the same time 
sequence. So you can take one picture, two or three. We're gonna set this to two. And here are the two stills taken by the camera. And operate interval. So the operation interval is gonna stop the photo basically every X number of seconds. So we get all the way from five to 30 minutes. We're basically creating a time lapse. So we're just gonna set this at 10 seconds. All right, now let's go back into our video resolution. So the highest it can record is 4K. We're gonna go and do a recording on that. And we're gonna play this on this video, so it should be pretty good. Recording length, again, so these are your clips. We're gonna go set it at, say, 30 second clips. And you can go all the way to three minutes. So here's 30 seconds of recorded footage of daytime. And here are the stills taken by the camera at the same time. And these are the clips of nighttime. And these are the stills taken by the cam. PIR sensitivity, we're gonna go high. So this is essentially your motion settings. So if there's like a little bird or you know, like a branch moving on the high, it's gonna start recording. On medium, it wouldn't. So we're gonna let it on high. And economy mode is again on or off, and that's essentially going to try and preserve more of your battery. Record audio on audio volume, we're gonna go low. So this is what it looks like, middle of the night. Timer, you can set the timer on or off, we're gonna go basically off. And then you get your time lapse. So you can go on or off, let's go on. So then you can say that basically how long you can record for. The camera is pretty good for capturing time lapses in nature. You can have this on standby for six months. And the daytime timestamp, we're gonna keep that off. We don't want the timestamp. Auto power off after 10 minutes. So if there's nothing happening, it's just gonna turn off the power. We're gonna go back to say five minutes. And then you can set a password so nobody can access anything. You get your serial ID set, your language, you can format, and then just jump back to default settings. And finally, get your beep on or off. We're gonna go off, so now we're not hearing any beep beep. Uh, technical support if you want to email people, and then finally, your version of the thing. All right, so that's basically all of the settings. So now we're gonna go and set this to on. There you go, you can see how it's timing down to take a picture. So now it's essentially gonna be taking pictures during sensitivity. All right, so this is our back gate and this is our basketball court. I'm gonna show you how I installed this camera here. So we secured it with the provided belt mount. So you can pretty much attach it to any pole and then you can still get into the camera compartment here. So let's go and turn this on. All right, so that's on. I'm gonna close this. And now the settings are taken out. So we've set this to record 30 seconds video once it detects any motion. And we're also set this to take, I think, three shots simultaneously as there's any motion recorded. So again, three images at the highest res and 4K video, obviously at night. And we'll see what it looks like during the day. And it's gonna take 30 seconds video once it detects the motion. So here are a few more clips recorded by this camera and day and night. So this is the camera during the day. We're about six feet, seven feet away. This is full color and that's gonna record for 30 seconds. So anyways, this is the review of the trail camera. Video is coming in from the camera itself. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.